uh, what we are learning as a society, not only in the United States, but all around the world, is how to be, how to live in an interdependent way. My name is Emma Medioni and I'm Jewish. Hi, my name is Christopher and I'm a Christian. My name is Gur Sumer Singh, or you can call me Gura. My name is Mohit Parkash and uh, I believe to the Hindu faith. My name is Kais Atala and I'm a Muslim. So my expectations for this trip, uh, I don't really know. Uh, I think this is going to be a wonderful trip and I think I'm going to get to know a lot of people uh, and also get to know other cultures and religions and uh, possibly get closer to my own religion also. Um, for me, uh, coming from a really small country like Sweden, uh, it's definitely going to be a great experience and I have a lot of expectations because coming to America, um, to New York, it's uh, nothing, like it's so much bigger compared to our small country, so yeah. <laughs> Yes, this morning we went to the Baptist Church in Harlem and it was very inspiring, a bit unusual uh, and a positive experience. Yeah. This morning at the First Corinthian Baptist Church I saw a very dynamic display of community that I'm not quite used to seeing every day. In the Buddhist temple I thought uh, I'm going to see a lot of uh, pictures, a lot of uh, statues and uh, things of Buddha. It was actually most of the Tibetan uh, Buddhism uh, history, but it was anyway great. Uh, the Tibetan center was very beautiful. It was small, it was really intimate. It's a, how Christian is a dharmic religion, so I love the great songs, the Mol Mantra it's called, that's music. Uh, it's a wonderful culture, religion. to the synagogue uh, today was uh, very interesting. First of all, it was uh, in, a, in the Chinatown community, so it was a little bit odd to have a synagogue over there, but many years ago it was a, a Jewish community, so uh, it was really interesting to have that preserved in, in the Chinatown. The idea of not to recreate an insularized community that only speaks to itself, but one that really engages the society on a whole and learns to, in a very productive way, build relationships with people of other faiths, people of no faith at all, across cultural and ethnic and racial backgrounds, backgrounds that are diverse in a socioeconomic uh, manner, so that you as a practitioner of your faith are not utilizing your faith only to benefit you, but you start to see it in a frame that says, how does me as a practitioner of my faith benefit the society that I'm in? Park 51 really represents to me an important part of my own journey when I was involved in um, dealing with the whole backlash when they called it the Ground Zero Mosque. 
And through that experience, it really created a chance for me to uh, evaluate, you know, how far do I believe that religious freedom goes? And I believe that, you know, as a nation, we must really extend our, our social fabric to include Muslim Americans. And if we don't have the imagination to do that, uh, it's a scary prospect. Now that everything's over, I just feel like that we're not finished, that we should have more time. Filled. Uh, filled with new emotions and uh, new, new, uh, great, great touring, new, new sights. And I'm really gonna take this on to my life back home in Stockholm. I can say one word, inspired. Uh, because uh, first when we started out I was unsure, uh, I didn't know what to expect but now I leave inspired uh, and inspiration comes from both uh, knowledge and experience and the experience I got from these two last two days uh, so that, I'll take that with me back to Sweden. So before working with Faith House I was not really sure um, what it means to visit your neighbor's faith and strengthen your own. Uh, I'm really happily surprised with how Faith House, the, the, um, the guides we've had uh, at Faith House are kind of walking the talk. Not only in their personal lives, you know, through intermarriage or having, having gone uh, through or sought uh, or converted from one religion to another uh, but also with the um, uh, eloquent language and facilitation they are inspiring uh, together for Sweden and, and probably also many other groups in, in really challenging themselves to to step out of their comfort zone and, and to try to learn more about themselves through talking and learning uh, with and about others. Faith House Manhattan. Experience your neighbor's faith, deepen your own.